So as the name states, miniature, what you understand? Small, something with small in size. So miniature paintings are small handmade paintings. They, uh, they are basically, they were basically made on uh, cloth, palm leaves and paper. Later, it, they also made the miniature paintings in paper, but initially it started with palm leaves, okay? Miniature paintings are handmade paintings and the colors used in miniature paintings are all natural. They use vegetables, indigo, stones, precious stones which was available at the time, gold, silver, okay? So now we'll start with what is Pala miniature painting. You know that uh, Pala miniature painting dates back to 730 to 1197. The Pala miniature paintings, they were the pioneers. Palas were the pioneers in the miniature painting in India. So the Palas, they root over Bengal and Bihar during the time 1730 to 1197. The paintings of Palas were basically about Buddhist, Buddhist art, okay? It was about the life of Lord Buddha and the teachings of Lord Buddha. They were the, the it was manuscripts, these manuscripts were written on palm leaves. The colors basically used in Pala miniature paintings were red, blue, green, yellow and touches of, touches of white. So the next is J miniature paintings. J miniature paintings, it covers the states, it flourished in the western part of India, it flourished in the states of Gujarat, Rajasthan and Madhya Pradesh. The earliest painting can be traced back to the 11th century. First illustration of the J miniature paintings were done in palm leaves, then again in cloth, then in paper. The subject matter of the paintings were the Jain Trithankaras. It was based on the Trithankaras of Jain Kings. Kings and princesses were also there and various deities they used to worship at that time. Those paintings were also there. The next is we have, uh, sorry, and in Jain miniature paintings, let me tell you that female figures were very less at that time. They basically uh, give more importance to the main persons in that time. The char most characteristic part of Jain painting is that the outlines were done in gold. Next we have Mughal miniature paintings. Mughal miniature painting is a remarkable part in Indian paintings. The Mughals when they came to India, they brought the Persian artists with them from Persia. So the Persian artists with the Indian style, they mixed together and then gave to a remarkable painting that is Mughal miniature paintings. Basically in the Mughal miniature paintings, we have uh, the battle scenes, the court scenes of kings and his courtiers, wildlife, flowers, birds, everything they used to paint. They did not have any specific rules. And portraits of uh, uh, kings, princesses, the uh, family of the kings, whoever was at the time, those were the things they used to paint in the miniature paintings. The paintings were also done on the walls of the forts. Beautiful paintings were done on the walls of the forts. But gradually, uh, during the time of Shah Jahan, the paintings of Mughal miniature painting came to a decline. Because Shah Jahan, as you all know, we know him as a uh, he, used, he was more interested in architecture. Like we have so many uh, beautiful architectures during the Mughal times which has started during the period of Shah Jahan. So his interest in painting slowly came to decline. Next is Rajasthan miniature paintings. Rajasthan miniature paintings discovers the western part of India. Uh, it, it, it covers in central India, the Himalayan foothills, some parts of Punjab. Uh, during the period from 16 to 19th centuries. Rajasthan and miniature paintings were regional in styles. They had different regions and they used to have different styles of painting. The regions were Gundi, Jaipur, Prishangar, Mewar, Bikaner. These were the regional centers of Rajasthani paintings. The paintings used to differ in different styles. They had different styles of painting. 
this manuscripts were basically done in uh, they used to not only in paper or in palm leaves or on cloth but they also used to register like, miniature paintings they used the paintings to decorate the rooms of the palaces and forts portraits of ruling kings and queens narratives scenes from epics like mahabharata they were also done the most uh, the colors basically used in Rajasthan miniature paintings were bright in colors. They used golden, silver, and precious stones. That is very common in Rajasthan miniature painting. The uh, Rajasthan miniature painting also uh, they took uh, the themes were taken from devotional songs and uh, romantic poetry also. Thank you.